everyone welcome to the course agent force for everyone uh, in this episode we are going to learn how we can create our first custom action using flow uh, before i start uh, in the previous video we have done how to create custom action using apex and we have also created a new service agent in the previous episode and then we took the requirement uh, we have a case object and in the case object we have a status field so whenever a user prompt what is the status of my case number then the agent should respond the status value and we have done those things with creating a new agent with creating a custom action using apex we wrote the code to find the case status and everything in the previous episode so if you have not yet watched that episode i would suggest to go and watch that episode how to create an agent how to use and everything you will see the hyperlink on the left top or either on the right top somewhere because we are going to use the same service agent to create we are going to use the same service agent to add our custom action using flow so i will write down all the steps we have performed in the previous episode so first we have created uh, an apex class to find the case status once the apex class is ready then we create a custom action using apex then we created a brand new service agent then once we created the agent we added the topic some instructions and our custom action which we created then once the topic instruction and custom action is added we provide some apex class permission to the service agent user then we did test the agent to find the case status provided the case number now i am not going to use all those steps again to perform the same thing because i am going to use the same agent which i have created in the previous episode but i am going to remove the custom action from the agent which i have created for apex and then i'll create a new flow and then i'll create a new custom action for that flow and i will add that custom action to the agent to see whether i am getting the same response or not so what i am going to do now create a flow to find the case status so let's jump to the salesforce org and create a flow so i am on the flows if i click new flow start from scratch this is going to be a auto launched flow because we are going to use that flow in our agent create and the first thing we need is because the user will gonna provide the case number so we need to create a variable which can ex expect the case number so which needs to be available for input let's say case number default value should be null available for input done once we have the case number we can find the case record get case and for that case record we need to find the status so let's name it as get case status object should be case uh filter case records so, so now we are going to filter the case records with the user provided case number so which is going to be case number equals to the case number from input and i'm going i'm going to need only the first record so let's leave as it is so once we have the case record then we need to find the status and then we need to return that status to the agent for so that the agent can display to the ui so for that let let's assign the case status sorry assignment assign case status so this case status variable should be available for output and this will be a text because the status can be a text and needs to be available for output 
and then the value is coming from the get case status record element and the field should be status so now the flow is ready it's a very simple flow getting the case number from the user finding the case record and then the case status and then returning the case status back to the agent so i will save this flow let's say flow case status uh, i will put some description so that we don't need to put the description on the custom action because this is a good practice we should put a description on the flow or on on the apex class so that the description gets copied to the instructions return case status when a user asks for it for example a user can ask something like what is the status of case one save and activate so now the once the flow is activated let's see the next step so the next step is create a custom action using flow so let's create a custom action let me go to and go to the agent actions so which is now named as agent force assets in the agent force assets we can see two things topics and actions so i'll go to the actions as you can see we already have a case status which we created in our previous episode which is with apex now i'm going to create a new custom action with flow so let's click on the new agent action uh, this time i'm going to use flow and this is my flow which i have just created the label should be fine the api name should be fine so now you can see whatever the description we have provided in the flow we can see here this is basically for the agent action instruction i am going to disable this because i don't need to display any message because the loading time will not be higher here so now you can see we have created one input variable and we have also created one output variable so input variable is basically whenever the user ask for a case status they need to provide a case number so whatever the case number they are going to provide we need to pass that number to this custom action and from custom action to the flow so pass the case number given by the user and this is going to be a required input because without case number we won't be able to fetch any case status once this is done then we have we need to show the case status so show the status to the ui once we get the status we are going to display the status to the ui and this will be show in conversation and the output rendering should be a text simple text only so let's finish so once we finish we can see our new custom action is created for flow now let's go to the steps so we did the step number two step number three create an agent so like i said in the previous episode i have already created a service agent so i'm going to use the same service agent again i'm going to use the same topic same instruction but i'm going to change my custom action from apex to flow i don't need to provide any permission for the flow and i'll just change the custom action for the flow and then we will test the agent so let's go to agent force agents so this is my agent force service agent created in the previous episode i am opening in the builder so you can see this is the topic case management which has an instruction case number is a required value user must provide etc etc which has a action case status so this case status action is calling the apex class now I'm going to deactivate this agent and I'm going to delete this action. Now I will load my new action which is created with flow. So that's why I named as flow just to keep the name clear flow case status and I'm going to add this here. So now I can see my case status flow is here. I will just refresh the agent and let's try it out what is the case status what is the status for or case status what is the status for case 
zero 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 one zero one so let's say six i hope this should be a valid case number let's find it out uh cases all cases yeah so this is a valid case number and the status is working so let's see if we are getting the correct status yep so you can see the status for case 00001016 is working which means the agent receive the, our question and then it fires the topic which is case management which is which has already one topic and then it read the instructions according to the instructions it fires the flow and flow receives the case number flow find the case status based on the case number and then the reasoning engine uh, modified our message to show to the user so the final response is the status for case this is working now what will happen if i don't provide any case number so let's say what is the status of my case so we need to provide a case number for further processing because this is something which this is the instruction which we have given already to the topic now let's say if i provide a invalid case number let's see what will happen so here the magic happens with the flow the message we are getting is it looks like there is no status available for the case number please double check the case and try again now if i show you the way we have achieved this handling with apex is let me open the dev console so you can see this is the code we have written in our previous episode to find the case status so if the cases are valid if the case number is valid we are getting the cases and then we are returning the case status but if the case number is invalid then we need to return case number is not valid but with the flow we are not going to handle anything so there is no need to handle any uh, error or to pass any you know static message or something the flow itself handles or the agent itself handles the message and it didn't throw any error that the case is not available instead it throws a generic message it looks like there is no status available for the case number that means the case is not valid the case number is not valid so we need to try again and provide a different case number so let's try for this zero one zero one zero let's see yep so the status for 00001010 is closed let's see it's closed yeah so basically the agent is working fine so that's how in this episode we have seen how to create a custom action using flow uh, i hope you really like this video if you really like it please do subscribe my channel so you get more uh, videos on agent force uh, the aim is to uh, teach about all the all the things on agent force basically all the practical knowledge not just the theoretical knowledge which you can definitely get it from the trailheads uh, if you have any queries any doubts any concerns you can reach out to me on linkedin you can find my linkedin account on the description and i would love to help you uh, thanks for watching see you in the next episode